Okay, so now we're gonna remove the shifter. To do that, we're gonna unscrew the shift knob counterclockwise. Set the shift knob aside. Then we're gonna we're gonna grab down in there and just pull straight back. Okay, be careful not to break the clips, but just try to pull it straight back towards you. Okay. Next you have a cigarette lighter attachment. Okay. And there's just a little tiny pin that you push and then you're able to pop that out. Okay, set the bezel aside. Now, there's a shift boot here that we're gonna remove, and it has four bolts, two down here, two up top. Then, um, but first actually we have to remove the handle so that the boot can be slid over the top. So we'll, we'll get to that part. Okay, so we're gonna take our 10 millimeter wrench uh, socket mm -hmm. and put it on here to remove the handle and uh, you just remove the two bolts there. Remove the bolts and then take off the handle and then uh, just kind of make sure that the car is in neutral. Now with an eight millimeter socket, we're gonna be removing these four bolts that are on this cover. Okay, so next we're gonna lift this uh, shifter boot out and it's connected to that aluminum piece in which we just undid the bolts. So we're just gonna kind of get it out and pull it up over the shifter. Okay, our next step is gonna be to remove these four bolts right here, 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 and here. Okay, this is a 13 millimeter socket. Now we're removing these with 13 millimeter bolts that hold the shifter on. And then we'll just lift the shifter straight out. Okay, so now we're just gonna lift the shifter straight out. Okay, now remember there's fluid on the bottom of it so you wanna have a rag. And um, if you ever change shifters, just remember this piece, this is really important, this little plastic cup. Switch that over. Um, so now we're ready to go here. We're gonna pull the gasket as well and uh, we're all done pulling the shifter. I'm gonna lift here on the subframe connector. That's this black bar that's coming through here. I'm gonna lift here so I can put a jack stand in front of it and I'll leave the jack under it anyway just as a extra precaution. Make sure the parking brake is up. Okay, lift the car and lower it so that the uh, valley of the jack is now over the uh, frame of the car that's coming through there. So we're just gonna just get this 3 8 drive and turn it, okay? This is uh, the drain plug on the transmission. Once it gets to there, we'll, I just like to switch over to a smaller extension, or even just do it with this. Kind of keep the mess down, but uh, this is just going to help kind of minimize the mess. So we're just going to drain the transmission fluid. Most of the transmission fluid's out. We're going to put the plug back in. Now to add transmission fluid, you can do it the messy way through the fill hole in the side of the transmission, or since you already have the shifter off, just put a funnel right here and pour it directly down into the shifter. Okay, now this Mustang has the TR3650 transmission. It's a 01 bullet, same transmission in 01 plus Mustang GTs and the 03 and 04 Mach 1. And um, there's a TSB that went out where you it asks for you to fill it to 3.2 quarts instead of the four. Usually you just fill it till it overflows out the other fill plug. But uh, anyway, the, the new uh, TSB calls for 3.2 quarts and um, don't fill it till it overflows out the side.